Okay, hi everyone, thanks for joining me and today we're going to discuss whether you can use an extension cord with your space heater. So, as you can see, I'm prepared. Here's my space heater and here's my extension cord slash power strip and uh, we'll try and afterwards we'll discuss whether it makes sense to do it or whether you should rather plug it into the wall plug directly. Okay, so let's do the small experiment and check what happens. Don't be too excited. So this is my space heater power cord and here this is my extension cord. So let's plug it in. The space heater runs on full power. And it looks like everything's just fine. But why is it that if everything's just fine, everyone says you should never plug a space heater into a, an extension cord? Well, the answer is this space heater doesn't really draw the full power. This is an 800 watt space heater and most space heaters use more. I have the little tiny version of a regular space heater. So my example is not the very best. However, when you plug a 1500 watt space heater into an extension cord, like this one, it wouldn't really change the situation. The only difference is that through the cord there would be a lot, a lot more power flowing through it. So why is it that everyone says that you should never plug a space heater into an extension cord? The answer is pretty simple. Because most space heaters run on 1500 watts, the issue is that the electric grid of our house can't really handle any more. So as soon as you plug in more devices into your wall outlets, the electric grid gets overpowered pretty quickly. Another issue is that Right at the connection point between the extension cord and your space heater power cord, there is not always a perfect connection. For example, there's a little dust or there are some, some other disturbances. And these disturbances increase the electric resistance between the power cord and the extension cord. And this resistance part of the cable can actually heat up the extension cord and catch flames. And especially if you use a cheap extension cord, the issue is that even though the cord itself looks thick and of good quality, the inside may, may be only a very small strand of wire. If you cut through it, don't do it while it's plugged in, but you can do an experiment with an old cable. Just grab a knife and cut it and check how, how thick the cable is. Oftentimes you'll see it's just a tiny tiny strand of, of copper wire and this tiny strand can't really handle power at, at all. So if you plug in a space heater into such a cord with a tiny copper wire, the issue is that it heats up pretty quickly and the whole cable can catch fire. Space heaters need lots of energy and the energy has to flow through something and if you push it through a very thin strand of wire it can get pretty risky. So that's why everyone says you should never plug a space heater into a power cord, uh, into an extension cord, sorry. But why am I sitting right next to a space heater that's plugged into an extension cord? Well, as I already said, my space heater runs on 800 watts only, so it consumes much less power and that's a power that this extension cord can easily handle. So I'm very confident that this extension cord can handle my space heater's power. If you have an extension cord lying around at your home, should you plug it into a space heater? Or should you use a space heater with that extension cord? I'm not sure. If you see a rating on the cord that specifies the amount of current that can flow through it, 
you, then you're probably fine as long as the rating is above 12.5 amps because that's what a space heater usually draws if it's rated above 1500 watts. However, if you don't see a rating, then there's a chance that your extension cord is probably of very cheap quality and that you risk a fire. So to minimize the risk, you should either you shouldn't use an extension cord at all or if you really need one and only if you really need one for example if you want to heat a room that has no access to electricity and you somehow need to get the space heater in that room then you can get a heavy duty extension cord heavy duty extension cords are similar cords to the cords that are directly connected to the space heater they are usually um, made of really thick strands of wire and they can carry much a much heavier load. Still with the with, by using extension cords even if they are heavy duty as I already said there can be a resistance because of irregularities at the connection point between the extension cord and the space heater cord so make sure that you plug it in correctly. So as a conclusion you can say that you shouldn't use an electric space heater with an extension cord. The risk of the cord catching fire is just too high and there have been many many accidents. But in an emergency when you absolutely have to use an extension cord then make sure that your extension cord is heavy duty one Make sure that there's a rating on the side of the cord that says something along the line of that it's rated above 12.5 amps and possibly lower the heat settings of your electric space heater. As you can see when you lower this, the heat settings then in my case one of the heating sources turns off and there's a smaller current flowing through the cable which reduces the risk of it. So if you want to know which extension cords are safe to use within spa with a space heater then go ahead and type in heatertips.com slash cord and you'll get to a page where where you'll find my article about space heaters and extension cords and whether you should use them. Basically it's all about what I just said and some additional information but when you scroll down you find a heavy duty extension cord that you can safely use and that I recommend to use. So just check that article and um, always stay safe. I hope this video was, was informative for you and you could learn something. If yes, then just smash the like button and leave a comment and feel free to share your opinion. So, see you next time. Bye.